Hi everyone, Regate68 here with. Oh god, I need food! Let's starve to death on Danganronpa 2. Goodbye to Spare Blind. Um, last time, had some free times. Thought about going to the final dead room. The smart thing to do, at least look in it. But I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to see that at some point. You know, it'd be really stupid if there actually is the exit on the other side. But, uh, for now, um, yeah, we're hungry. What's going on? We fell unconscious. More ellipses. There, even the ellipses are slow. Kablam! What the fuck? Hmm? What's going on? There was definitely a long noise. Maybe it was a bomb or something? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. Or maybe somebody's dead. As soon as I mumbled that, feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Oh boy. Wonder who the murderer this time. Wonder who the victim is this time. Considering it's a bomb, some kind of explosion, I'm thinking it's Mechamar. I really hope it's somebody else. Hope most of all, of course, it's Akane, but uh, we'll see. Whoa! Emergency! Emergency! Okay, so somebody died and then we fell asleep and now we're gonna wake up the next morning and find that out? That's kinda funky. I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. Yeah? There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. Woohoo! Billy lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is pride, because he doesn't have a stable job or money. Aww, for reals? But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad. Shocking. About myself. Dun dun dun. Plot twist. So, uh, who's dead? Ellipses indeed. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold. As if the core of my body is getting numb. But, I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Mo Monokuma Taichi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Um, have you guys at least been drinking, you know, Mechamaru's drinks? Because that would at least help a bit, I think. Like, eating, yeah, you're hungry, but drinking will at least help that a little. I mean, I've never gone multiple days without eating before. So, I mean, I don't know if drinking can, you know, equalize that a little bit. But, I mean, if you'd have been at least been drinking Mechamaru's liquids, it would help somewhat, I, just, I think. When I feel incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. And? What time is it? What do we got? Oh, it's already five minutes till 7 a.m. Well, you better go fast, then. Really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. Oh boy. So where's everyone now? I'm getting excited. Oh. Oh, the girls are all still in their rooms. Okay. And then if I go to the guys. It says the guys are all still in their room, but I'm sure that's a trap. Unless someone's dead in their room. Alright then. So I'm assuming if I tried to go in someone's room, though, I, I can't. Like, let's say I wanted to go in Chiaki's room, I wouldn't be able to. Because probably someone's dead. Yeah, just obey and head over the Grape Tower if I ignore. Still, though, you'd think you'd want to wake everyone else up, and just in case, but meh. Alright, over to Grape Tower we go. Are we going to find a dead body? It's looking like it. 
Is it going to be engraved tower? Maybe not. But certainly something. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Ah, Hajime, good morning. I was pressing circle to try and, you know, speed over to Grape Tower. Didn't think I'd run into anyone. Um, Son, you seem energetic. Wow, yeah, why? What's up? What makes you so happy? <laughs> um, what? What's so funny? Amazing! My goodness, Hajime. When did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? Uh, what? She's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous! Just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? Or what? Um... You get a stomach ache. Wow! Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake! That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake, I'm Chiaki. <laughs> Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Grape Tower? Yep. It's almost time. If you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Ugh, I guess we have no choice. Just keep jogging along in these slow legs. What's on your mind, Chiaki? See? We don't really have time to relax. If we don't hurry, we're gonna be late. You're right. Somebody's already gotta be dead or something. Or Maybe the explosion was because somebody was in the dead room and somebody was trying to do the game or something. Maybe. Wow. Oh my Hajime, blood closure expression in your face looks like a, a Sachirote. Um. Might I trouble you for a bite near the center? I shall repay the favor later. So you get a grip of yourself. Wow, okay. So, is anybody else around or is it just the two of them? Uh, Connie's still in her room, and then I'm guessing all the guys are going to show up on their rooms. Yep. Alright then, let's go. To the exercises, or the death. Whichever. I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right, it's always sudden. The door of spare always opens suddenly. Ah, I see what you're doing. Really? I totally freaking called it. I totally freaking called it. Why? Why did I know it was going to happen? I'm like, of course it's going to be Mechamar. Made even more so by the fact that the Monokuma was in his room, but... Really? Fucking so close to getting all his free times. That just grinds my gears. Get it? Because Mechamar was Mecha? And look at his blood, it's kind of blue instead of pink because he's a metal, right? Really? Do I really have to get one away? Damn it. Oh well. The other side of the door saw the remains of our friend. Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? We'll never know now that they're dead. Shit. Oh, is it just me, or are the other two already there? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver coursed through my body. My head began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? This is just what it looks like. And it kind of pisses me off because it's so obvious that you see it coming. Why couldn't they do something, you know, that you don't see coming? They did the exact same thing they did with fucking Ishimaru in the first game. He gets, he gets different, he gets crazy, and then he dies. Same thing with Nekamaru. He gets different and he dies. And honestly, it's kind of annoying. Not a fan. Um... But, uh, it's just also kind of sucky that he's another one of my favorite characters, dead. Like, Ibuki, Mahiru, and Nekomaru. Can none of my favorite characters stay to the end? Really. Like, all that's left is Chiaki. If she's dead, that's it. They're all gone. Like, I don't have any others that I call favorites. Sonya's alright. Gundam's alright. Nagito's... Nagito is Nagito. Everybody else? I don't really care. What is even... Who even is everybody else? Everybody else is, um... Akane, Fuyuhiko, and... Uh, 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 soda cans. When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. 
Why? Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. That is impossible. Mekamaru? No, this is a lie, right? This is just... This in our situation in the body discovery announcement. It's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing. I can't deny this truth, but... Why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey! A death. Mekamaru's death. Looks like you're gonna have to live without it after all. Kane! Move! Move! Move it! Kane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Mekamaru. Why? Honestly? I hope because of you. I really hope you're the killer. You're definitely my least favorite. Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die again? I mean, you seem like the least likely suspect considering he always did it, but at the same time, I don't know. It would just, I don't know. Plot twist? Nah, I don't know. Damn it. He never paid you back. For what? For it or for his sacrifice? I never paid you back. For your help last time. It should have been you. It should have been you. It so should have been you. I know that would be six girl deaths in a row, but still. <laughs> Damn it. How cruel. This is just too much. Why did Dekamara have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? Well, this time it kind of makes more sense than any other time. Like, people are hungry. Maybe it was Akane. She gave into her hunger. No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. It's not your fault, Shiaki. Just don't blame yourself. If you blame yourself, then you lose. Monokuma wins. Is this something I can't stop? Damn it. Mekamaru got killed, right? And that's what it means, what I think it means, right? I won't forgive you. Who did it? Who killed Mekamaru? Hoping it was you. Hiya. Looks like someone's finally pumped up. You. You know who did it, right? You who killed Mekamaru? What? What do you want? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should stay. Uh, I. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. Went to a lot of trouble to bring Mekamaru back from the dead, and I already let the killer break him. <laughs> I was disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose? Because he's a robot? You talking about Nekomaru? Yes, who else would he be talking about? Calm down, Akane. Control your breasts. Phew. Use those powers that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Can we eat first, please? Um. Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Mekamaru? Hmm. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my fault. This time, the killer's one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <sighs> Guess it was a waste of time to ask him. In other words... Life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. This <laughs> is... So... You know it's getting a little boring. Let's get on with the usual routine. It's the Monokuma file! <laughs> also, this is a gift for me to you. Red bean bread and milk! Oh boy. Uh-oh. Fihiko doesn't like milk, though. What's he gonna think? <laughs> Where are you guys are presents? The killing went off without a hitch. Besides... <laughs> but on Fihiko, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. Damn it. Definitely find out who killed Coach Nekomaru. I won't forgive you. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. Just don't go do anything foolish like before when Nekomaru had to sacrifice himself, you dumbass. Even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. <sighs> You're right. If we're gonna avenge Mekamaru, we, we got... <laughs> and she said it, the name. I thought we abandoned it. We gotta regain as much energy as we can. Damn it. I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hajime, you too. Yeah, you're right. I'm waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it, I never expected to feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! Eat slowly! Be bad if you guys got a stomach ache. 
We had our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Phew. Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you got your energy back. Let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it! What she said. Killer and you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However... Regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. Yeah, shouldn't they be here for the Chai Tai Chi or whatever? You mean the guys in the Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Mm. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we had Monokuma Tai Chi. Unbelievable. How unacceptable! Never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. You know what would be funny? But we find out that it's like, oh, it was a group killing. All the guys killed them together. They were just super hungry. <laughs> Uh, but no, Monokuma said he won't let that happen, so somebody is considered the mastermind, no matter what. What are you gonna do? Does this happen anyways? Yes, it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us, too? Do your best. Do your best to investigate. See you at the class trial. How could everyone include us, unless the clocks are thrown off? That would be interesting. Now, why would that be, though? Hmm... That's an interesting question that I'm not sure what the answer to would be for the sake of this, but I guess we'll find out. I hear something. Um. What do you hear? Huh? I thought your nose was what would be good, but okay. What is it? Is this Nekamaru? <laughs> Damn it. Of course not. He's already dead. Maybe his robotic self? Robotic stuff? Yo. Oh well, now's not the time to worry about that sound. Uh. Every time is the time to worry about that sound. What is it? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. Maybe it's a stupid whistle. You can only hear it because you're stupid. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it alright that we have not summoned them here? Ah! She said Gundam before everyone else. She totally wants to get it on with Gundam and her hamster and his hamsters. They'll be kinky. Huh. They're going to come here soon anyway. Now it's not the time to worry about that. Right. They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. Probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. We should start the investigation soon. You're right. Gotta do it. I have to do it. Yo, oh boy. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. Honestly, so far, it's always been a perfect time that I found the dead body. So it's been like the perfect stopping point in the video. But this time, I still have probably a bit more to go. Meh. But I'll look anyways. Monokuma file. Mekomaru Midai. Dead. Yeah, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that should be considered the cause of death. Okay. Time of death? Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dissembled, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they're separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several of the areas of this body are damaged. Because of this, many of its functions seem to have shut down. What about time of death? Uh, it was thrown off, but uh, was it thrown off, thrown off here as well? Or maybe because he's not a regular corpse, he doesn't have an estimated one? I don't know. His arms and legs were detached, but it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Didn't you just say that? Does this mean Mechamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? Like the hammer right there? Stop, hammer time, get it? Was there a reason they need to club him over and over again? Wanna come with file four? Well, all the ladies. All right, it's lady time. So is everybody else still in their room or what? Let's check the map. Everybody here is here. And if I go to... No, we just don't know where they are? Is that the gist? I guess we just don't know where they are. Yeah, we just don't know. Interesting. Um. So I guess... That thing on the wall over there is interesting to me. Before I do, I think I'll talk to all the girls. I don't want to end the part just yet. I see. I see. In this case, is Monokuma file. There's no written time of death, right? And just like in case three. Again? That's cliched. Didn't it happen with Ibuki and Yoko as well? Oh, did it? But the reasons the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because time of death was key to mystery surrounding the murder. Not just that. It's because Mikan went out of her way to throw off the time of death. I think that's the main reason. Could it be the case this time too? Um. By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Um. 
Ultimate, it's safe to assume that Grape Tower and Starry building are the same building. Why is that? It's the only thing we can think of. Unless there was something special going on, you know, because I was looking at the map one time for all the characters and somebody was in the blackness off of one of the towers. So, uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that has to do with it. Maybe that's key. I don't know. Even when we ex experimented with Chalky's handbook and left him in Grape Tower, still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Maybe that was all part of Monokuma's plan or something. Which means? The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor lighting is changing the colors. The reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because it is merely a projection. And that should be the case. Then? It's decided. The two towers are the same building. Didn't we already do this? Which means the scene of the crime is simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? How does that pertain to Mechamara's build murder? Who knows? Maybe it does. Everything could help, right? Alright. Uh, next, uh, Chalky seems most important. Akane first. You find anything? Mm. Indeed. Uh, hearing something still? Smelling something? Yes? Looks like you haven't found anything yet. Leave it to me! We need clues, right? I remember something, so just wait for me. Mm. Oh? Remember something? It's gonna be a little hard. Yo. I remember. There is something I thought was weird. And what is that? It happened early in the morning. You're going back that far? Like... You know, it's it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound? Oh, right, that. Rumbling. Kablam! Let me check this again. It happened early in the morning. This morning? Because we're still in the morning. Unless you're saying it happened late last, like, late last night. That'd be better to say. And that'd be better for the reaction if you went back that far. But, um... Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of a mistranslation or something. Anyways, kablam! Was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? I didn't feel the ground move. Guess I'm just thinking too much. Um... Sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. But that noise woke me up. I ran outside my room without thinking, and after I did that... What happened? Hmm. Didn't see anything. And it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms, either. Felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell asleep. What's that mean? Yeah, and I never found out what that sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. Now that you mention it, it does seem strange. Just what was that sound? It was probably, uh, the time of death. Hmm. The cause of death. Whatever it was. You don't either? Well, I should tell you more detail. I ran to my room. I happened to glance at the lounge couch. Oh, clock. Sorry. Words are getting bad on me now. So it was around 5.30 a.m. You able to find anything with that info? 5.30 a.m. Maybe. I didn't think the rumbling noise happened that early in the morning. I didn't think it happened that late in the morning, but okay. But I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Hmm. Why? What the hell? I went to the trouble of remembering that. So you gotta say? No, no, don't worry. We'll add it. So don't use this. This <laughs> is... Me? I've been a big help in figuring all these cases out. You're the one who's useless. Seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. Alright, Akane's account's been added to the truth bullets. And what about you, Chiaki? Huh? What's this? Oh, what is it? What do you see? Do you find something? Well? Under Mechamara's body, no wait. There's small rock-like fragments underneath Mechamara's body. Wait. Okay, did you say Nekamaru? This is confusing. For a while, nobody was saying Mechamaru, so I decided to take it on myself to say Mechamaru. Anytime they said Nekamaru. But now, you're saying Mechamaru sometimes. That's confusing! Under Nekamaru's body, no way, there are small rock-like fragments under Mechamaru's body. Blech. You can correct yourself like that. <laughs> and what do you mean rock-like fragments? See? Here, look! There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Mechamaru's body. Well? But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Mechamara's body, there are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? Yep. Gosh, Hajime, you're such a dumbass. You don't know it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. What? Hajime, you're so stupid. Of course there's some kind of importance. What it is, I don't know yet, but it had to mean they were there before he fell or they came out of him or something. Put it like that. Now I can't help but think they are important. Jeez, Hajime, you're so dumb. Play more games! <laughs> or be a detective. Either way, it leads you to being good at these cases, I guess. 
Or be crazy about hope. That helps too. So let's take a quick look at all our truth bullets. Victim is Nekomaru Nidai, aka Mekomaru. After his robotic transformation, his body was discovered in Grave Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are disassembled, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged because of this. Many of his functions seem to have shut down. Kai's account. Apparently, Kai heard a rumbling noise around 5:30 a.m. A lot of small pieces of stone were scattered underneath Mechamaru's body. However, there were no fragments at the top. Reminds me of uh, Case 4, the first game, when you know the st there was the whole uh, debacle between whether it was on top or, or on the bottom with the whole um, glass shards and whether that was important. And it was, but because um, they should have been also on top. But meh. Um, it's also reminding me. This is also reminding me of Case 4 because. Um, Case for the first game, because uh, um, uh, Sakura, who was considered like the strongest person, died in that case, and now Nakamura, who's considered like the strong person, died in this case. I mean, you can argue Akane, but I don't think she has anything on Mekamaru. She she can only hope to have something on Mekamaru, but she got nothing. So I think we'll start examining next time because um, uh, no, well, I didn't want to leave. I keep thinking I want to do Circle to speed up my investigation process, but it doesn't. Anyways, glad I can't leave. So, next time I'll do some investigating. This time I think I'm done for now. Um, I tried to extend the part. Still don't know if it's long or not. But, uh, yeah, next time, fourth investigation. And Damn it, why Mekamaru? I was so close. One away, I think, from maxing his free times. Really is a shame. They just gave me one more. Could have maxed him. But nope. Oh, well. Ugh. Excuse me. I'll see you next time. Bye.